small ones, medium ones, and also big ones. I want to show you the seventh episode of Go Orbit's airdrop, and um, all of us know it is a very high chance that uh, the good reputation of Go Orbit is only misused as identity theft. I'm yeah, I'm I'm open every time if there is somebody uh, that really works with Go Orbit, especially a social media manager or also CEO or also the person there in charge with Co Orbit, please reach out to me um, when you find this video here. It is only to alert about uh, this identity theft and also to um, fight back uh, to have the real refund because until now it is a fake refund. And no discussion about the airdrop behind. <laughs> yeah, but I um, I uh, prepared this as a case study, a study because I also made um, a research. I stepped into this project there because I make a research about uh, communication patterns in crypto investment spaces, and it was very interesting to see how does the communication pattern work in an airdrop project that's uh, different than uh, the normal investment platforms there, right? So, and yesterday we had the stage that I need to purchase a so-called letter of swearing that I will um, pull down all the videos with my ill words about uh, the Airdrop project and Go Arbit as company. So, and this I needed to purchase, of course, um, of my costs for $167. And I had a normal discussion about this and then I was gathering the money and I um, paid this um, this night and um, yeah, guess it end like usual. After I paid this, um, there was no comment um, about it and oh sorry sorry no no the um, situation was i asked uh, a lot of times i showed this yesterday um how long does it take i we can make a little step back here okay i i was asking um here with the just pay and stay active will be initiated tonight how long does it take um 45 minutes and i also ask for which government i shall swear it should be for the USA. It is all in the form. It was not in the form. Uh, the form, of course, were only um, the emails with some lines, without any business address, uh, without the question about um, my receiving wallet, where the refund should go on. Okay, but we were um, also confirming here the refund shall be about um, $8,700 in this time and yes then i started to gather those uh, deposit for this letter of swearing i made my deposit here it is completed and then i had the answer you will get the form in email this was a little bit after midnight yes and of course then comes the delay one hour later nothing um also Eight hours later, nothing. I wrote, we have a really different sense of time and honor. And um, then the forms I received by email, they really um, come there around 10 and something of my time. And then, of course, I had the next two fees in the emails because they also need to be purchased in BNB. And this should be be how we are reading here a curt fee it is something like a curt fee of course never ending um, yeah, what is the word for fantasy never ending fantasy of um, name naming uh, the different type of fees you need to deposit for so okay and then I started to I, I wanted to pay um two fees um i can show you in my in my emails i should pay for the first fee let's have a look that you can see the original 
um, conversations. I'm sorry, it took a little time here. Um, here you see this is the refund sheet, personal information form. I should pay $50 in BNB for this and I should pay for the where it is for the swearing sheet form sorry uh, here 65 BNB what happens what happens the usual um, process that I had the amount of $130 when I ask about the exact amount of BNB then it comes back send it in BNB and I should send 135 to the address then I confirmed if this means um, 0 0.45 BNB then it becomes higher of course it should be just send this and when I send it this of course the price was rising right first is 1 point, uh, 0 0.165 second should be 0 0.55 and then I need to have the third of course to have together 0 0.72 Right, and so I also have a third one with 0 0.17 BNB in addition. So, okay, then I had uh, that I need to have the correct amount of the full deposit, and the correct amount until now is 8,796. Yeah, it was with the shrewing form before, not with the last three ones because they are not refundable. Here we see it, 8.796 dollar. I should receive a refund. Of course, it does not hit my wallet until now. Of course, I had also no question where, what, what is the receiving address. I send it uh, to the head of support that there's nothing missing by my side and not that they um, start to transfer this to yeah, an address that does not belong to me. I wrote this here that this can come to my wallet in USDT or e Ether or Bitcoin. So and now of course I'm waiting. And this is the story for today. This is our seventh episode about GoArbit's airdrop project, especially with the refund that cannot hit my wallet. I don't know why. I have the feeling it is really here lost in translation. It is something like lost in cultural um, things. I don't know and, and I don't want to play with this um, um, issues there because this does not need to be uh, something cultural. I don't want to be um, blaming um, a culture or a nation uh, only because this this um, profile here seems to belong to a Domini a Dominican Dominican Republic, right? Yeah, I think this is the right word. We can see it here. Support team head of Coorbit company. Company, you see, it looks as if it is a real company here in the Dominican Republic. I can see where it should be located. Yeah, I let this now not to make too much. And you see, we have already twenty six screenshots here together, only with the head of support since I guess three days. Yeah, I. I let's see it started three days ago Friday today is Monday okay four days yeah next long story and yeah I I undersigned my swearing document we can have a look on that that I need to pull down all the 
um, ill words. Yeah, I have I, Gloria Piagel, promise to pull down all ill posts about this honorable company immediately after refund. Failure to do so, let the government and law take its cause. So, okay, I signed for this. I paid a little more than it is in this sheet here. And I hope they will for the refund someday, <laughs> right? And if not, that I can earn and recover, earn money and recover this loss with the case study about this. Hopefully someday uh, somebody by Go Arbit Olo will become aware about this identity theft that uh, works here with the good reputation of Go Arbit. I'm pretty sure this is not something that comes by Go Arbit itself. Um, when you when you look here at the address, it is a Gmail address with I think it is a spelling mistake. Go Arbit support. Uh, with uh, with a missing R and I'm pretty sure this is really only identity theft and hopefully this person will stop this because other people become aware about this also especially Go Arbit as the real company and I will spread this out um, broadcast it to all the social media channels that uh, other persons are alerted before they step into the same path because it is really unbelievable what different types of fees and deposits come up there and yeah I I take it as a case study that I needed to invest a lot of money and um, who was following me uh, with the first episodes, you know, it started uh, with governmental funds uh, for the research project. That's why I needed to start the criminal complaint at all. But I also put uh, my private money in because I, I had really the hope that I was reaching now the real company and uh, there will be a normal refund process that um, is yeah, that it will work professionally and we can think about this and, and can use this as the normal case study 100% uh, anonymized and everything would be good but yeah it does not seem like this and that's why we have here also the seventh episode and we will see if I can pull down anything and it will go into history 100% anonymized and for now there is so there, there is such a unique pattern I, I think it is not possible to anonymize this 100% and I need really to um, not use this but for now I would be okay with I, <laughs> I have this in my mind I know the pattern I can um, use this for other things and I can um, I can make something different from it and I don't need to use all the things here if there would be receive if i would receive um, the refund really one day and then i would pull down really everything that was here but until then this will stay um, online and public and yeah it is a memory memory of really sick twisted business strategies they are yeah pretend they are really only pretend this is no normal business strategy right but it is it is interesting so i wish you a nice easter monday hopefully you have also your last um free day for us too we will go now into the forest by bike and see if there hits anything my external wallet bye